Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card all about a love letter from your soulmate. And oh, I know I do a lot of love readings. So if you're not a fan of the love readings, then I am going to be doing a few other readings as well. I asked for you guys on Instagram what you guys would like and you guys suggested a few other videos. So we're going to be doing those as well. But today we're going to be doing a love letter from your soulmate. I know a lot of you guys really liked this reading. A lot of you guys uh, viewed it and it kind of gave me like oh I didn't realize a lot of you guys would want to see this sort of content so that's what we're going to be doing today so we have the four groups here and please choose for the rune we have a different rune for each group and we're just going to be seeing what love messages want to come through for you so this can be for those of you who are in a relationship those of you who are single but mainly for those of you who are single because this is going to be a future prediction but if any of you guys are going through a hard time or you're kind of thinking, hmm, do, do I want to be with somebody else or whatever, whatever the situation is, we're going to be seeing the sort of person that you are meant to be with. And I really feel like for a lot of you guys, of course, this is mostly, uh, most likely going to be for those who, who are single. So we're going to be seeing what this person wants to tell you. We're going to be channeling some messages and we're just going to be seeing what they want to know. So let's get started. Start with group number one with this rune here. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys have the Northers um, rune, this is known as needs. So your needs, self-care, survival and endurance. So that is just so obvious, I feel like for a lot of you guys. So first we're gonna be having a look into like your general love life and anything around relationships and connections. And then we're gonna be looking into your love letter and what your person wants to tell you. So we're just gonna be seeing what the groundwork is for your relationships and things like that. Okay, so we have needs. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, you do tend to put other people first. You are somebody who is always thinking about other people, it's always up to everyone else, you know, what they would like to do. And I really feel like now you're using that softer energy that you have, that light heart that you have, and you're actually giving it back into your life. You're, plop you're plopping all that energy back, back into your life. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're getting back what you are giving out, which is really, really nice. A lot of you guys have been really struggling. And I feel like I'm seeing like your softness, getting like lots of sharp daggers towards it and like darts and knives and things like that and not very nice things. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be coming into it's really nice connection with people and I feel like a lot of you guys this group is very feminine there's a lot of feminine and female energy um, of course men can have feminine and female uh, feminine and male <laughs> feminine and masculine energy um, but for for this particular group I feel like a lot of you guys are women but also you guys are wanting to have more women, more women around you whether you are a male or a female so I feel like a lot of you guys are going to get a lot of women friends I feel like there's a lot more softness coming into your life and I feel like there's a lot more animals like a lot more unconditional love so whether it's from animals or people there's definitely a lot more gentle energy coming towards you which is really really nice I'm so happy for you guys okay so you got the card of flirtatious I love that that's so cute and then we'll see what other cards we have. So we have the um, Soul Space Oracle from Etsy I'm gonna be using. So we have the card of Awake, that's really nice. We have Mystery, oh girl, yes, we have Mystery. We have Shadow and we have Gazelle. Okay, so what I feel for a lot of you guys is you kind of had to be in the shadows. You've met a lot of people that weren't really your vibe. Like you've met a lot of people who aren't really on your vibration. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be coming into this definitely this new phase. So we have Awake, Mystery, Shadow and Gazelling. And then we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, you could be living with someone who is not very nice, someone who's not very kind. I feel like you're definitely moving away from this person. You're definitely leaning towards a more gentler life for yourself. So that's really, really good. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are very awake. I feel like a lot of you guys are meant to be around people who are awake as well. So you are definitely going to move into that energy. And I feel like with this shadow, there's definitely just a lot of like kind of darker, kind of depressive energy that you've either gone through or are going through. And I feel like a lot of you guys are literally just having an awakening phase. I feel like through your relationships, you've awakened a lot. And for this group, I'm getting, you guys might have been through quite a few different relationships very short term. And for some of you guys are picking up that you have never had a relationship, so it's kind of like like either or and I feel like for a lot of you guys I think some of you could also have had a baby quite young or young like pregnancies could uh, run in your family as well and I'm getting a lot of words beginning with F like Florida and things like that I'm not sure what that's about 
but I feel like for a lot of you guys there's definitely this massive change happening for you guys and you have definitely been stabbed in the back a lot and I feel like a lot of you guys are coming away from your families like really just harsh words and just the massive judgment that they put onto you so I feel like that's definitely something you're coming away from. And I feel like what you're coming into is definitely, like I feel like a lot of you guys are just gonna jump up one day and say, I'm, I'm done, like I need to just move on. So for a lot of you guys, you could be moving, you could be changing your job, you could be being having a baby. And there's definitely a lot of changes going on um, globally. A, a lot of people are moving, a lot of people are changing their jobs. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be literally going through a breakup right this moment. Cause a lot of you guys have literally had an awakening through going through your shadows and you're like, I can't be around these types of people anymore so for a lot of you guys you are literally moving away from all this stuff and it's definitely going to get lighter for a lot of you guys definitely going to get lighter okay so let's get you some more cards then so i have some pre-shuffled cards so let's see what we have but what i love about this energy is we've got flirtatious you're going to meet somebody who you can really really flirt with someone who you can really put your heart onto i'm picking up like you Put, you're literally grabbing your heart for your, for your like, I don't know, your skin and you're giving it to like your person, but you're like sticking it to them, almost like Velcro. And it looks like that they can manage it. They can manage all of your stuff that you have. And then through all the shadows and all the stuff you've gone through, especially a lot of the emotional work, it's all been worth it. Like everything that you've gone through has been majorly worth it. And I feel like for a lot of you guys also, you are just meant to be free. Like you're meant to have a freer life, a life that's light, light a life that's fun, a life that's just less damaging to you and I definitely feel like you're coming away from that I feel like also you may have not been able to flirt a lot or you may not have been like allowed to flirt something like that so maybe you have been in kind of like you know you've been around people who are very depressing people who are very intense um people who are quite narcissistic and you're definitely coming away from that now which is really nice um butterflies could also be a massive symbol for you guys moths and lizards lizards is a really funny one I wouldn't think that lizards would be a thing but Lizards is definitely coming up for you guys, so let's get some more cards. So we're going to have a look into your purse and we'll see what else wants to come through. Okay, we're going to take this away. All right, so, so there. Okay, let's see what we have. Yes, you, you definitely put down your boundaries. Oh my God, that's part of your needs as well. Part of that rune that you had the needs. Um, some of you guys, you might even have a rune tattoo or you might have a rune in your bedroom or something like that. I'm picking up, it might be on the wall or something like that. Okay, so we have boundaries, prosperity, we have balance and we have prophecy oh my god so a lot of you guys are definitely coming into like a new life that you didn't think was possible and i'm sorry guys that the the camera is so zoomed in i haven't got enough room to like ma maximize the space but um if you guys can actually see everything okay i hope you can um i'm just gonna adjust my microphone as well i'm sorry if you guys can actually like not you know, I can't fit too much in the frame. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so, all right. So the boundaries is definitely coming through. I love this energy. I feel like you're going to meet someone who's a lot like you, someone who's like a fairy type energy. Definitely a female, um, especially if you are a female as well, definitely the same uh, gender. If you are a male... I feel like it's definitely another friend, definitely a female friend, definitely. So for a lot of you guys who are wanting a, um, a soulmate, which is why you're here on this video, I feel like a lot of you guys are, your, your heart is being cracked open. So if you're getting a lot of chest pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, anything in the head, that's because your, your chakras are basically awakening, like your top chakras. So don't be alarmed, you know, obviously go to the doctor if you need to. But I feel like a lot of you guys are balancing yourself out, which is so good. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be so happy within the next five months. Um, you're going to be so happy. And I feel like, what it, it doesn't seem to me like it's somebody coming in it feels like you're literally um having to tweak your life in various different ways whether it be changing your job or changing the way you approach money or something like that or it could be your health but it's a really big thing in your life that you're having to change and then once you do that that's going to be when your person comes in it's, i'm hearing uh, they have to get this sorted before they can come in like before your person can come in so there's definitely a lot of that stuff going on but the boundaries is amazing and once you actually have some really good boundaries with people whether that be not talking to them whether that be like not being around them anymore your health is going to be so much better like trust me this is coming from a highly sensitive person who's an empath and all the things um i literally had such bad mental health and such bad physical health when i was living with a narcissist like it was really 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 bad um but yeah oh i love that green 
that's a beautiful so i love this we've got the 12th house we've got prosperity um i don't ever like plan where i put the cards so um so with the 12th house and prosperity that is just top notch especially if you guys have done a lot of like counseling anything to do with the mental health is just amazing lots of beautiful yummy stuff okay first quarter moon on balance i love that like both sides of you are coming together which is so nice and then we have saturn and prophecy oh my god this is this chunk is like this is when it starts to change so it feels like to me this is like a month one month each um or a month and a half but it feels more like one month two month three month four month and then with this is definitely like i'm seeing like i'm hearing the orb is changing like your world is changing and saturn takes a while to change so wherever you've got saturn in your chart that's going to be where your karma like takes a while to shift it can um also show where there's quite a lot of dominance in that part of your life so say if you've got it in your sixth house it could be your health has been dominating your life or if you've got it in your seventh house it's to do with like your relationships you know that sort of thing but this shows me like once you actually begin to get more serious about yourself, like you put boundaries down, you know yourself more, you're learning a lot more through relationships, you're actually like getting it now, you're like, oh, okay, that's why that person's treating me like this or, you know, whatever. That's going to be when you manifest this, this long-term person. And I'm hearing like your, your person coming in, they're telling me, I'm going to stay for the long haul. I'm staying here. I'm not moving. This person's really concrete as well. They kind of remember like a brick wall. Like they're not moving. You can't move them. Um, and that's scary for a lot of you guys because when you've definitely had commitment phobias or you've had trouble connecting to people or, you know, because of your past, yes, it will be scary. But it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Um, oh, I love that. We've got treehouse, childlike. This is definitely your person coming in. Oh, I'm going with that. That went... <laughs> downhill very fast yep definitely lots of shoulder stuff lots of shoulder stuff your person's got beautiful shoulders as well like a beautiful body really like uh, a lot of you guys is very very tall and quite i get the word slender which slender to me it doesn't always mean what it means when i say it to me it means like a tall and like quite thin I'm not too sure but take that as it resonates and then we have the stomach okay i feel like i want like one singular card to like round off uh this person when we channel them so let me get one more card we're gonna go with this deck let's get a couple oh i love this love 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 okay so we've got freedom and we got work oh i love this card so beautiful okay so what i get for this group let's see what we get let's channel some messages and if you guys ever want to channel messages from your person and you want to do it yourself um selenite is amazing i actually have selenite right here selenite is really good for channeling so i highly recommend okay so your person is saying to me get clear get clear get clear get clear on what you would like to do in life get clear what you would like to see you can manifest whatever you would like yes i know the world is harsh yes i know society is rubbish i know everything feels like it's against you but that is not your life especially if you've had people and they're pointing to one of your specific family members they're saying especially if this person um has been giving you a lot of grief if they've been giving you a lot of um instability and they're making you feel really low i want you to know that isn't who you are and that is just a projection of their crap and it's not for you to take it on i know it's really hard but you, you you're not going to take it on for much longer okay so i really feel like there's a massive sense of freedom coming towards you my love and i feel like you're going to start to feel a lot better you are going to meet me when your soul is ready to expand if she is not ready to expand yet i mean she i don't mean literally female I just i just say she um she is not ready to expand yet they're talking about your soul okay and they're saying she's not ready to expand yet and uh she's definitely she's getting worked up but she's she's getting ready basically they're saying your mental health has been really struck and they want you to know like your mental health is extremely important and especially at the moment when everything is so stressful i want you to know like little things will help you get to where you want to be i may meet you at your workplace and i also feel like i'm going to meet you when you are feeling a lot more able to let people in you've been hurt a lot especially by children in bodies like they're saying literal children i don't know but children who are you know adults who act like children 
as they're saying your stomach is so sensitive please look after your stomach especially around your belly button specifically that area you are so gentle and so loving and all you do is care about other people but you really lose yourself i am going to show you what play looks like i'm going to show you what fun looks like i'm going to show you how rewarding it is to play and have fun and be joyful and not be so uncomfortable and yes we probably will be bored yes it probably won't have a lot of fighting but that's because you are used to conflict my love and you're not going to have that for much longer so uh what else are they saying let me see they're saying they want you to enjoy being physical they want you to enjoy being physical um with me with you know this is your person talking i want you to be enjoy being physical with me this is something you're going to learn and i know you're scared to get physical i know it's really funny some of you guys might laugh when you get intimate and they're saying your laugh is so funny your mouth is so beautiful your eyes are gorgeous you have the most beautiful skin tone i love your freckles i love your dimples i love your cheeks and i love the way you smile when you look at something beautiful and i love how artistic you are i love how creative you are and you've been creatively stunted by a lot of people around you I am not your saviour, but I am going to help you to recognise your patterns, so get ready for that. So if there's anything that you're hiding, this will come up in our relationship. I can't wait to marry you. I can't wait to get physical with you. I can't wait to enjoy our lives together, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful, and I'm just so excited. I can't wait until we have a baby together. I can't wait until we create life together. I can't wait until we travel and I really want to meet your parents. I want to create a connection with you and don't worry about any naysayers and any people who want to tell you how to live your life because you don't realise how much potential you actually do have and how creative you are once you actually ignore all of those things. I want you to live somewhere that is much more sunnier. You don't get enough sun. And they're saying also that you might have twins. If you're able to have children, and if that's something that you want, if that's something you can, you know, if you're at the age where you would like to do that, I would say that a lot of you guys are going to have twins as well. So that's all they're telling me. I feel like also they're saying like you're going to, oh, and as they left, my ear started ringing on my right side. I love that. Um, a lot of you guys are working on your power and how you assert yourself to the world. So when it comes to your relationships, you are getting so freaking good at getting assertive which is really really nice and hearing i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of you you guys are doing so well and honestly i feel like you guys are not giving yourself enough credit okay so i feel like i want to do just a couple more um cards i feel like i want to just pull a couple more tarot cards so let me grab the tarot cards here let's see your person is so lovely like they've got this really lovely energy you've got two of cups in the world there which is so nice We've got a really, really, really inviting nature. It's not going to be difficult to meet this person at all. Like, um, how you're going to meet is going to be so easy. It's so, so, so easy. Got the Seven of Swords. We have <laughs> babies. We have the Empress. We have the Hermit and the Page of Swords. Okay. So, I feel like for a lot of you guys, your head is going to become clearer within about five weeks it's getting clearer there's something about you're clearing out something as well so i am filming this in virgo season and virgo season tends to be the season where everything clears out there everybody clears out their stuff um but for a lot of you guys you're coming out of hermit mode as well which is really nice so i can definitely see you're feeling a lot better which is really good and we've got butterflies here again um i feel like a lot of you guys are getting more communicative and they want you to delete any apps off your phone that aren't good for you basically that are drain your energy especially tiktok and whatsapp those two are really coming up for me and something to do with like amazon or something maybe you buy too much on amazon i don't know um but yeah it's definitely a lot coming up so i hope you guys enjoyed this love reading it might be a little bit different but i hope you enjoyed it either way thank you so much for watching if you'd like to uh, purchase a private reading with me all the information is down below i will be opening up my my readings by the end of this month so if you'd like a reading please check it out you can also message me by the way if my readings are closed you can still message me and book with me but it won't be until you know after the date that i mentioned on my website so thank you so much and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading so first of all we're going to be looking into your relationship life your love life and see what's going on and then we're going to be doing your love message and we're going to be talking about your person so let's see what's going on so we have the little m so let me get my where is my little book there it is my little book and we're going to be seeing what the m means 
So the M is horse, slow but steady progress, harmony, teamwork, and loyalty. Oh, I love that. So a lot of you guys are gonna be working in teams soon. Um, if you're not already, you may have worked in teams a lot in your life, but I feel like you're getting used to working in teams and you're gonna get a lot better to work in teams as well, which is really, really good. And I feel like loyalty is really sticking out to me. So you might actually be joining a group quite soon in work or in like pleasure. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be finding a couple of really loyal people to connect to as well. I'm seeing like joining a dance class or something. So if any of you guys want to do that, then that's what's coming up for you. Okay, so let's see what card we have. So we have love. Oh, I love that little egg. That's so cute. And then we have needy. Oof, girl. So I could definitely talk about these two just on the spot. Okay, so a lot of you guys have felt needy. A lot of you guys have felt like you're needy and your needs are not met. That is the only reason why you feel needy, by the way, because your needs have not been met by that person. You may have been called needy. You may have been somebody who likes to be physically touching a lot. That might be something that might be how you show love as well. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to attract a relationship that allows you to feel really loved, which is so nice. And I feel like a lot of you guys are coming out of your shadow period of being like in hibernation, which may or may not have been like out of, out of choice. I don't know. Um, some of you guys I see driving in a really high car. So, I mean, in England, we don't really have... I mean, we have big cars, we have SUVs now. We didn't used to have this, but I feel like I'm looking at like American type cars, like really big cars. Um, I see you driving in like a truck, in a caravan, in like a really big car, and you might be sitting next to your partner as well. So um, I feel like a lot of you guys could be traveling soon with a partner, um, or you could be traveling to a partner, or you could be traveling with a partner. So there's definitely travel and a partner in a big effing, big vehicles so that's definitely what's coming up i feel like a lot of you guys i'm hearing my eyes are really wide open definitely you're coming into like understanding how people act and how, how you're just knowing how people act now you're not kind of in an illusion it's getting really easy to figure out what's going on with people which is really good and you're going to attract so much physical affection like i feel like for a lot of you guys you haven't had this and i'm getting like really major cancerian energy there is so much cancerian energy coming from this group especially with the pink and blue i am a cancer moon and i love pink and blue like it is so lovely and i feel like for all of you guys you're really going to attract this beautiful cancerian energy which is really nice you might even attract a cancer in your life but i feel like a lot of you guys it's more about how you attract love like the sorts of people that are going to come towards you are soft and squishy like you might really attract somebody who reminds you of a bear like when you hug them they're like oh it's really soft and squishy you might attract someone who's really hairy as well like someone who's quite large whether it be like width ways or just very tall um who's just really hairy and <laughs> reminds you of a bear i don't know um but i, I I feel like a lot of you guys are going to attract i feel like a lot of you guys actually if you are wanting a male a lot of you guys are going to attract a man with like really good facial hair like really thick wiry facial hair and they're very like masculine and yummy <laughs> um if you guys are wanting a female i'm picking up that their hair is very dark it might be quite thick but their hair is just very very dark um i'm picking up on like uh italian roots um brazil roots uh what else we got there's another one as well Indian as well so that might be if, especially for you guys who are wanting a woman for a man I'm not too sure on the background of the person but the person just feels really masculine like hairy as f like really nice um so and what I really like about this is there's definitely this sense of connection which you haven't had a lot from your relationships which is really really nice it's definitely coming in and there's this sense of like your inner child is so 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 happy and I'm picking up you don't have to do any more inner child work if you don't want to which is so great because I don't ever get those messages in, this, in these readings. Um, so a lot of you guys are going to be holding your ha ha words, having your hand held when you are in when you're getting closer to this relationship coming towards you. Um, and because this is about you guys who are attracting um, relationships in the future, your partner is definitely just really really caring. <coughs> My throat chakra is doing something now. <coughs> Okay, so you guys have definitely got some throat chakra stuff going on, like a lot of coughing, a lot of like just your throat, like you need to cough, like you um, getting a frog in your throat kind of thing. That's definitely coming up a lot 
Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are hearing you made the right decision. So if you need to hear that, then you have made the right decision. All the stuff you've been going through, 100% you've made the right decision, especially when it comes to other people, like how it affects other people and yourself and your relationship to yourself and confidence. There's definitely this like, you have done the right thing and I'm picking up a confirmation from both of your grandparents. So I feel like this is definitely a message from spirit. So I'm sorry if they're already on the earth plane, but for those of you who have grandparents in spirit, I'm picking up a confirmation from the man and a confirmation from the woman. So I love that. Like a Couple, which is really really cute so especially if you have a grand grandparents in spirit they are literally saying you go girl just go 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 like get out there and try things and they're saying i want you to be creative i want you to like you know be artistic you know things like that they want you to do things like that they want you to kind of get out of your comfort zone as well and they're saying you're so funny like let people see you because you're really really funny okay i'm gonna get a couple more cards and then we're gonna have a look into your love letter from your person Okay, I see a black or brown haired male coming towards you guys. So if you guys are wanting a male, a male, then that is coming towards you. If you're wanting a female, yeah, I guess you keep seeing like black hair from a few of the women. Okay, so this is really good. Literally in about two months, I actually see you guys in a relationship. And they're saying, mm, not too sure, because they're saying basically you want to meet this person in two months. So I feel like a lot of you guys will possibly, okay. You know, this is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates. But honestly, you guys, it's definitely this person is like around you. Like they're saying, I'm ready to jump in. It's kind of like I'm seeing somebody ready to just like to jump into a pool. Like they see the swimming pool, they see where they're standing and they're ready. They've got all the plan. They've planned it all out. They know what they're doing. So that's kind of what I'm feeling. And then we have the tower and we have the devil. Let's just clarify that one because I don't feel like that one, that one actually needs to be there. Right, so you're moving away from that. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, there we go. <laughs> okay, I need to clarify that. Okay, so in terms of your love life, you are 100% getting ready for something brand spanking new. Whoa, girl, really, really, really new. Um, what I see is if you're moving overseas or you're doing anything that's to do with the sea, like there's definitely some good stuff there. There's some new people on the other side. It's almost like you've been in this boat for like most of your life and you've been in this boat with the people you don't even like and it's been really stressful and you can't get out of it. And then all of a sudden this new boat appears with all these new people and you're like, ooh, and they are really fun. They're really creative. Um, and I like this, we have a circle of support, your place of shared joy, social events. There's definitely some new friendships coming in, which is really nice. And I also feel like everything you've been, all this work you've been putting into to make some changes for yourself, it's all been worth it. Um, the towel for, for me is basically saying like, you're ready, you're being cracked open. It doesn't feel like a sudden change you're not aware of. It feels like a, a change you're really, really aware of. Um, but you're definitely getting ready for something brand new, which is really good. And I love this. And I'm, I'm not surprised that the Ace of Wands is, Ace of swords is here because a lot of you guys your throat chakra has really been at it and what, what i mean by the throat chakra is this is like one of the last chakras to clear like you got your um throat your third eye and then your crown and then you're done so i feel like for a lot of you guys your sight your psychic intuition is going to get really heightened and i'm hearing you're going to get confirmation within three weeks three months especially when it's to home or um jobs or anything like that anything physical you're going to get some confirmation on that which is really fab I love that. Your relationships are going to are turning around so rapidly and you're going to attract some really lovely people. Like you're attracting some people that really appreciate you, which is so nice. Um, which I love that. Yay. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's get some more cards. Let's see what's going on. So let me grab some more of these cards. So these are the Soul Space Oracle. Well, I was just using earlier. It's really hard to pick up these cards on the floor. Okay. Okay, so let's get some messages from your person. Your person's right there. They're literally staring at me in the face. They've got really bright green, greeny blue eyes. They could have green or blue or greeny blue. Greeny blue eyes. Okay. So we have gazelling. We have, this one is massive for you guys. Oh, especially because this was like the ocean. I'm getting a lot of ocean stuff from this group. I'm picking up like a lot of peach which actually really resonates with these flowers like i'm getting a lot of the peachy colors definitely resonating with you <sighs> my heart chakra is like yes go i'm ready i'm ready to channel <laughs> i'm ready to channel this man yes exactly so much water from this group and it's not even obvious water it's not like oh you're moving to the beach which you might be but it reminds me of just emotions Yes, this is exactly the, that's exactly what I was feeling. It's like this soft, gentle, cozy energy, which is really, really nice. Yay. Okay, love that for you. 
All right, but let's get you a couple more. Let's see what other cards we get. So this is the Intimacy Oracle from Etsy. Etsy has some really nice card decks. So if you guys want to get some card decks, Etsy is where it, it is at. Okay. Let's see what your person wants to say. Okay, so some of these I can't include in here because they're body, the body parts. So if any dodgy stuff comes up, okay. We might be able to include this one. So this is the inner thighs, intimate space. Oh my God, you're getting all the dodgy ones. Okay, I mm, don't know if I'm gonna show this. I'm just gonna, okay, and then I'm gonna take it away. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put it over there. I'm gonna include it in the reading. I just can't include it like in the spread. Yes, see that's what I'm getting, Sacral Chakra. Sacral Chakra is all about that sensuality, it's that connection you have with yourself, it's that like really strong energy, like really, really strong, yes, okay. So I am seeing somebody with quite a strong, thick accent. Um, some of you guys, you might even be able to understand them at first. Um, but yeah, really, really strong accent. This person also has beautiful arms as well, really, really nice arms. Okay, we have the beginning. Let's get one more. And we have flow and work. Oh my God, we had work for the other one as well. So there's definitely something here. This is different though. This is different than group number one. Like the way it is, like the way it's, what it's actually talking about. Okay. So let's talk about your person. Let's see what they're saying. Okay, so let's see. They're saying, whoa. Because <laughs> as I like pulled their energy in, they felt like they were like being pulled with like a bungee cord. So they're saying, quick to meet, quick to meet, quick to meet. We're gonna meet very quickly. I'm gonna see you, I'm gonna to talk to you. You're gonna have this hairstyle that I'm gonna that I'm gonna see and I'm gonna be really excited by it. I'm gonna love your hair, I love your hair, I love your hair. Have you dyed it? Do you style it? It's really, really beautiful. You work too much, you work too much, you work too much. You need to have more fun, like you take life too seriously. I'm gonna be very grounding, but I'm also very energetic. So if you like exercising, I love exercising. I love going out, I love doing things. I love just, I'm very ex extroverted, but I also like my downtime. I have a very strong sweet tooth. So if you like ice cream, I'm gonna love ice cream too. Me and you are gonna have the most, the best intimacy you have ever had in your life. And I'm not just saying that because I'm amazing at it. I'm saying it because me and you and we are together, it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so easy. It's gonna be so clean. It's gonna be so just really, really easy. And you're gonna know what a relationship is. Like I actually have never had a relationship. They're saying, this is, this is what they're saying. I think I've never had a relationship that's strong enough, that lasts long enough. And also I've been around a lot of people who don't really appreciate me. Um, I have a very big open heart and I like to be very vulnerable. I like to be really, um, I can be a bit competitive, but when I'm when I'm really comfortable with somebody, I get very vulnerable and I'm really excited to be vulnerable with you. And I'm hearing you've been messed around a lot and they're tapping my right ear. They're saying, listen, you've been you've been messed around a lot. So they're, they're indicating to me it's to do with your right ear and it's to do with your masculine side. It's something to do with somebody in your life has been very masculine, but not in a good way, like overbearing, toxic. And they're saying also, I just love to be creative with you. Don't listen to anything these people are saying. I'm hearing your eyes are so beautiful and they're very, very sharp. So when you see me, lock, lock eyes with me because that's when you know, that's when I know I can approach you. And um, they're saying we're in a public space. It's quite noisy, but are you alone? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if you're alone, but you, me and you are definitely going to be able to find each other really really easily you are definitely into a new beginning look out for the color purple that is coming up for you a lot and i really feel like you are definitely in the flow you love water you love being around water and i love being around water with you i actually have a beach house i live near the beach i love um, cabins i love anything natural wood i love surfboards i love um, building things out of wood so um, that's my favorite thing to do and they're asking me what's your favorite thing to do and they're also telling me they love this space. They love this, <laughs> they love women. They love being around women. And they're saying, I don't love being around women because of what they give me. I just love being around women. I really appreciate women. And they're saying, I love being out in nature. I love being barefoot in nature. I love putting mud on my face and putting rain in my hair. And they're saying, I love being out in nature. I love being in the sun and having having fun. <laughs> um, and what's the last thing they're saying? They, they want to recommend me a song and I'm not sure what song this is let me just see what this is it's something it's either this is so random i'm getting lizzo or it's george michael <laughs> 
they're telling me the word they're telling me the song freedom by george michael it's really coming through and they're actually telling me actually no they're also telling me um what's his name oh my god michael jackson and they're saying we are the world they, so they like the song we are the world and they want you to listen to that if you would like to um yeah they're born in the 80s like really late 80s or middle 80s okay so yeah they love this they also tell me they could be born like just on the edge of the 90s so like between 80s and 90s so you're going to notice this person when they come in because they're very tall and they're also um they're just really they really want to talk to you like it's going to be kind of like weird when they come up to you because they're going to be kind of like staring at you I need to know how you guys are going to meet because I'm so like confused because they're showing me both of you seeing and looking at each other but I'm not sure like what's going on how are they going to meet what's the um what's this scenario like the environment okay we have Capricorn sixth house Jupiter that doesn't help so it could be something to do with work and they're not in their head at me so yes yeah, could be something to do with work um it could also be something active i'm seeing i paid to be here like i'm hearing i paid to be here so it could be a, it could be anything it could be a class it could be um i don't know something oh give me more info i'm nosy tell me more cancer okay you're still not telling me Do one more Scorpio I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure but there's definitely um it feels like high vibrational like it feels like you're really comfortable there so that's pretty much all I'm getting that's your reading I really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching rate and uh if you if you would like to follow me on social media I would love that I'm at the crystal girl underscore thank you so much and I'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading so you guys got this little rune here so we're going to be seeing what this one means in my little book okay so this one is called earwax i'm not very good it sounds like earwax um i'm not very good at like explaining this but earwax you uh y-e-w transformation connection reliability and divinity i love this I'm going to say that your life is going to get a lot better in the air sign season. So if Libra season is coming up for you, which should be when I'm releasing this video, Libra season is going to be really good for you, Gemini season and Aquarius season. So all of those. So around October, uh, January and May, around those months. Okay, those could be really just generally very good for you. Really easy flowing gentle fun i'm also seeing you're gonna have a new friend who is also possibly an air sign <clears throat> a very grounded air sign okay so i love this so the fact we have this um rune is really really good it kind of reminds me of just this this path it feels like i'm hearing i've been on the narrow path but i'm getting there so it's like you feel like you have never been able to actually get where you want to go until now so literally the last couple of weeks it could have just been really improving for you and generally in your life and um, well, things have just gotten really heated. Basically, it's like things are getting to their boiling point. So you've definitely gone through a lot of transformation. And I feel like a lot of you guys are getting guided naturally to um, meet your person, which is really good. I'm picking up, you might be getting some signs. Um, I'm seeing snakes and rabbits are your omen, okay? So if you see any, like in pictures or physically, hopefully if you see a snake, you're okay. <clears throat> Obviously be careful. If you do see that, then I definitely feel like that's your, um, it's your symbol at the moment. Okay, so we have overstimulated and we have embodied. Wow, these two are so similar. Oh my God, they got like two people. Wow, that, that is not planned. That's really interesting as well because that looks like to me, it's like a third eye but it's in the stomach area where the belly button will be. So a lot of you guys are probably working on your solar plexus, which is like your stomach, your intestines, your gut, your confidence, your power, things like that. Okay, so a lot of you guys have definitely been working too hard in work or relationships. So a lot of you guys just need to like really calm down, okay? You've definitely been working too hard. You do need to have a break. And I'm sorry, I know if you've got any Virgo in your chart, you will be a little bit of a workaholic, but you know, there is definitely 
a time for you to really um, take a break for yourself. Um, it doesn't mean you have to like stop working or anything. I just feel like your downtime needs to be really calming. You might have a lot of people in your house at the moment or you could have a lot of just overstimulation. So just be really gentle with yourself. And I also want you to be aware like, I mean, five, five is amazing. Um, also you guys, I am gonna be looking into your love life and just your relationship messages first. And then we're gonna be looking into your soulmate and what they wanna say as well. I've done that in all the other groups. Okay, so you guys have been definitely spread very thin. I can really just feel that from you guys. And I'm seeing like a child who's really drained, like not even an adult, like a child. And I'm seeing like also a dog panting. So I'm seeing like this, like this young, uh gentle energy has been really like wrung out dry so i feel like for a lot of you guys you just have a very gentle energy you're so gentle you're so loving you're so kind um but you have definitely been through the ringer like you really really have so if you are one of those gentle people who really puts everyone first you are going to be pushed to put yourself first and I also see that you are definitely coming into yourself, like you're really coming into yourself, which is really nice. So you may be picking up some new hobbies. I think you may be changing your job or your job is just gonna get so busy, especially if you work for yourself. Um, you're gonna start to get really busy because basically it is all about you and your personality and you know, you basically market your personality and what you're really good at. So the more you do that, the more you're gonna get more clients. Like the more you're seen, the more clients you get. So you're definitely going to be getting more clients i see uh, by december so this is a time that's really so within about september october november so about three months your work is going to just blow up amazingly um even if you don't work for yourself it just is just going to blow up <laughs> um and it feels like to me there might be a special occasion that you're dressing up for so if you have a wedding if you have a birthday you're going to be dressing up for it and your man or woman might see you on your birthday or something like that so I'm picking up Will, I'm hearing will they beat them, will they meet their partner by their birthday? Maybe, I'm not too sure on that, but your person is very close. Like I can pick up that they're very, very close. And a lot of you guys do need to just be in an environment where you're not spread so thin. So I do feel for a lot of you guys, you are definitely needing to get some nature. So I highly recommend getting some nature for you guys because you guys are overstimulated, very much so. Okay, so let's get you some more cards. I wanna just pull a couple more. Uh, what do I wanna do? Let's do some tarot. Let's do some tarot for you guys. Let's see what's coming up for you. And then we're gonna look into your person and what they wanna say. Okay. So I, I feel like you might get um, attract a friend with the letter R. Um, it could also be a partner as well with the letter R. So Rachel, Roy, Ryan. Um, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. That's just what I'm getting. Six of Wands. And then we have the Strength card. I'm getting a lot of Root Chakra stuff in this reading. Like I'm feeling like things are changing with the Root Chakra. So a lot of you guys could be moving. Okay. All right. So there's definitely somebody who... Sorry, I just <laughs> There's somebody lingering around your energy, but okay, it feels like somebody you're letting go of and then somebody you're attracting in. It could be you have two men around you or two women around you. It could be like an ex and a, and a new partner or a friend who's the same gender as your next partner. So say if you want a man, you could have a man friend or something like that. Because it looks to me like you're, you've got all these like you, you haven't got any options coming towards you you're kind of bored so then when your person comes in you're like yeah whatever but then you're actually really happy about it like you love it you just got to get used to having this person around you're just you've kind of been working so much like whether that's through choice or not that you kind of just don't really believe that a partner is coming towards you that you don't really believe that somebody is actually going to come into your life um which is actually kind of good they're actually like my guides are doing this little like cheeky smile because they're kind of like they don't want you to believe somebody's coming in but not in like a bad way they, they they don't want you to kind of control manipulate anything they want you to just go along with things i don't know it's stressful but honestly it's so true and if you're going through such a big transformation you're probably not going to want you're probably not going to want the same person you wanted like a year ago anyway so um it's probably best that you go for this transformation and then you find the person that you'd really like to be with but for a lot of you guys you haven't had a lot of um experience intimately wise or relationship wise so i'm not really surprised that you guys are kind of like meh i'm never going to meet anyone because you are it's just it is just going to take its time you know it's going to take its time 
And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are definitely going through this sense of public recognition. You're gonna get so popular. Like so many people are gonna want your business. So prepare yourself. Like, especially if you're, if you are um, making your own business, like prepare yourself because I feel like you're very needed. Whatever you do, you're very needed. And it's very specific to you. Like it's not, I, don't, I really don't feel like you've got a boss. Even if you do have a boss, I'm not saying that, you know, this isn't, this reading isn't for you. But for a lot of you guys, because you've been working a lot, really like a lot on your self-worth and like giving and being um, like being seen, it is definitely a lot of recognition coming towards you for that. Like I think you've really been working hard on that. So I see massively you're going from possibly a water sign partner to a earth sign partner. That's what I see really strongly. Like they're literally like waving flags at me saying, look at this, look at this. I'm seeing like going from like a Cancer to a Taurus or a Pisces to a Virgo or something like that. That's what I'm seeing. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys, I think I'm hearing you need to learn love and respect. The main thing I'm picking up for you guys is learning a lot of respect for yourself. And respect is showing to me like you have really, really strong boundaries, which is really good. Um, and you also are very unconditional to yourself, but not so much like you're unconditional to other people, but not so much to yourself. So you're definitely learning that. And I also am here, you're going to find your home. You're going to find your home. So if you guys are definitely searching for a house, I see that coming. And I also see your partner that you're going to attract has a really nice house. Really, really, really nice. Like, wow. Um, and you're going to be like, okay, how did you afford this? Like, tell me your ways your person's like really good with money um they've never got in debt or anything like that and not saying that that's a bad thing or anything like that because this society really encourages that but i feel like for a lot of you guys like this person is just very good with money so if you've ever had a partner that's not very good with money or you've been around people that aren't good with money then like, this is just confirmation that you are going to be a-okay and if you have any money that is kind of residing or debt or anything i feel like you are slowly starting to um you know clear it which is really good and i'm hearing ask for help as well if you need if you know anyone who could possibly borrow money off of or if anything like that then definitely give that a go okay so let's have a look and see what else we have let's see let's see okay so we're going to be having a look into your partner now and um, we're going to be seeing what's kind towards you so we have a desert we have a sacrifice We have the chest and the lips, oh, love that. So they probably have a nice chest, they probably have nice lips. So we have North America, Cuddly, Antarctica, and we have the living room. Okay, so let's have a look and see what is going on for you guys. So I love this living room. <laughs> I'm really getting drawn to that. So your first day could be in this person's living room. This person I'm seeing has a very uh, minimalistic way of living. So I think you're going to really enjoy that. And do you know what, guys? I really feel like all the worrying that you've done um, about attracting a partner is going to be just kind of insignificant. Because like when you meet this person, it's going to be so random. Like I, can't, I really can't express that. Like you, one day you're just going to be, I don't know, thinking you're just going to go get coffee somewhere we were going to go for a walk or a run or a surf or something like that and then next minute you're at somebody's house and you're having a great time yeah exactly major amounts of communication from this person and this person also might give you their phone number um pretty much straight away they will obviously ask if you're single and things like that but i feel like you will see this person who's gonna be really really happy they got beautiful lips, they've got a beautiful chest, like their their energy is so lovely as well. They're very welcoming and open and everything like that. Okay, so let's get you a couple of these cards and then we'll channel your person and see what is going on. I actually read that as an institution, but it's intuition. And that looks like a wave. Ooh, girl, we've got catalyst. Let's get one more. Yeah, this person doesn't like to make things too professional. They are very cozy. They're very fun. They're very, um, they have the same belief system as you as well. Like really, really, really similar. Okay, so we have fear and cycle. Okay, so let's see what they're saying. So they're saying you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to release anymore. I want you to know that everything you're going through right now is majorly 
it's, it's just really big it's very very major you might be having a lot of fear around the future and around having even a baby having a marriage having something that's solid and my dear you have nothing to worry about okay number three and number five i want you to know that whenever you see that that is just a massive confirmation for you and i'm hearing you may have had a passing in the family recently and i'm hearing I'm there for you and I'm sorry and I know that this is really hard for you so if you're really going for it then I am here for you. So I feel like this person they're showing me um, a boat and they're saying I love the water, I love the boat, I love my boat and they're saying they're pointing at their siblings and they're saying I have a couple of sisters and I get, really get on with them. This person lives by themselves but they also could live with um, their siblings as well. So saying, welcome to my living room, they're saying, welcome to my house. And they're pointing to all the things that they made. They love anything with like wood, anything natural. They love anything that is to do with body. They might have a few tattoos as well. Um, they're also saying that you may meet me within about three to five months. September is a really good month for you guys, October and January, really, really, really good. And I'm hearing you will notice me by my shirt and my eyes. And you'll notice me by, <laughs> they're rhyming now, and they're saying, and the looks in my eyes. <laughs> um, and they're saying also that, they're saying I'm really cuddly, I will probably hug you when I'm really close to you. Um, I have very long arms, I love cuddling, I love communication, I love texting, you'll be texting all day, we'll be calling you every day i love to work you'll you'll be very safe and secure with me i am very grounded i am very earthy i am very good at making money i am also really really good at having a good relationship with my dad as well so my relationship with my dad is really good so you may meet my dad um i also have scottish possibly irish roots and i also have very bright eyes i have a lot of facial hair and possibly a lot of chest hair as well so obviously this is those of you who have had one a male and I also love to be active. You'll never see me sitting still. If I am sitting still, I'm probably doing something creative. And I also love to, <laughs> this is so, I can't say it, it's too, it's too intimate. I really can't say it on here, but they're saying they like it when your body is on their face. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, they're saying I may have a piercing as well. Um, yeah, that's, is there anything else? They're saying, I'll meet you at the waves. And they're doing this like surfer dude <laughs> thing with their hands. So if you guys are going to go surfing soon, that's like a major confirmation. Like they love surfing. Um, let's see what else. My home is your home. I'm hearing I could meet you within three months. So that's a possibility for some of you guys as well. So that is your reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below. Have a lovely, lovely day. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. So first of all, we're going to be looking into your love life and then we're going to be looking into your person and their love message for you. So let's have a look and see what's going on. Okay, so we have this little rune here. So I'm going to consult my little rune book and we're going to be seeing what this means. I suddenly saw you guys like walking through this countryside, but you don't live there. So maybe you're Airbnb or you're like going to like a cabin or something, Cabin in the Woods. I know, is there a horror film called Cabin in the Woods? <laughs> I've never seen it, I don't watch horror films, but there's this like, yeah, I'm feeling this freedom around nature. So there's, there's something drawing you towards that as well. So nature might be really drawing you at the moment. There's a lot of green. I'm seeing an S shape as well, like your, your spine as well, like your spine is changing. I don't know, maybe just be careful with your spine as well in this group, okay. So this is per Perthro, I love the, these words. I'm not very good at pronouncing them though. <laughs> Perthro, destiny, fate, chance, secrets, and the unknown. I love that. That is so nice. A lot of you guys are going to meet somebody who looks a lot like you. Um, you, yeah, you can meet someone who's a lot like you um, in terms of partners. So you're going to meet, be meeting somebody soon who, yeah, I, I feel like friendship as well. There could be a connection that happens. And I'm hearing this friendship might not even last very long. It could just serve its purpose for your work or something like that. It could be somebody you're collaborating with. Um, but whoever this person is, you're definitely going to be having a really, really good time with them. And you could meet this person through a group. Um, but 
like I say, like also they could it could be a really long term relationship. It just depends really, but they could be a long term partner as well. Okay, so this is Perth Road Destiny. Like I say, fate, chance, secrets, and the unknown. So a lot of you guys are in this space of like nothingness. I'm hearing like nothingness, and I'm hearing wow, that's accurate. So a lot of you guys could be calling it like literally the space of nothingness. Um, so there's definitely this sense of like literally not knowing what the f you're doing. So that's you know it's actually really good. They want to say this great. They want you to be in that. It's okay. And they're showing me the little pinky. So they're saying trust, trust um, your inner child, trust, um, you know, just trust. It's all about the inner child. And also show me like um, this thing that I learned the other day. And it was a thing to calm you down. So if ever you're feeling anxious, they say if you grab your thumb like this, and if you can't feel your pulse going through it, you just keep holding it until you feel your pulse. And that's when you start to slow your breathing. And it's, it calms you down. So if you're ever in a public space and you need to kind of calm down, they're saying that that would be really good for you to do. Okay, so we have listen, number 31. It could also be number four. And we have soften. I love that. So I really feel like some of you guys, you're going to be bringing in a new doggy and, or a new kitten or something like that, like a new cat or a dog. Um, you could also be around children a lot as well for this group. Um, you could be working with children or you could be working as a nurse, a wet nurse or a just anything to do with pregnancy that's something like that that i feel is uh, with this group as well okay so what i feel for a lot of you guys is you're learning to listen and that sounds really bad to say like oh you guys don't listen but there's something around you like you're very con <laughs> sounds really bad you can be a bit controlling like <laughs> you can be a little bit controlling um so i don't really like saying that but you can you can be a little bit controlling um you don't know everything <laughs> it's literally coming from a psychic right now who literally predicts the future like this is someone like myself who always wants to know what's going on like you guys definitely want to know what's going on and i'm hearing there's nothing wrong with your boobs like some of you guys might be feeling a bit insecure about your chest area um whether you're a female or a male just the chest area and i'm hearing there's nothing wrong like your body is beautiful your body is housing your soul and that is good enough okay um so what i feel also is you might need a doctor's appointment a checkup or something there's some sort of checkup you might need to do it's nothing serious at all it just feels like you might need to check up on something it might be like a like a daily thing or sorry no, it's not a daily thing like a, a yearly thing that you need to go to there's something like to do with because we're in virgo season right now and I'm, i always get a lot of like health messages in virgo season because virgo overall for health house of health so it could be coming through for you guys i'm also picking up you guys are gonna have a really good christmas and a really good summer but next year <laughs> a christmas this year summer next year okay so i also feel like a lot of you guys are gonna guys are gonna be really surprised about how good your summer is like you're going to be attracting some really good stuff um so I know, i'm sorry i'm talking too far into the future here but your next summer is going to be really good especially if you are manifesting a man or a woman because i feel like you might be going on holiday with them okay so i'm seeing your person if they are a male if you want to attract a male i see a italian man nice very specific but you know take it as resonates if you're wanting a woman i see a eastern the eastern side of the world so like india that type of area i don't even know if that's middle eastern i don't know i'm not very good at geography but i see a woman and she looks indian okay so that's the sort of uh, background i'm getting for you guys Okay, so what I feel for you guys is I'm pulling, I'm hearing I'm pulling on the earlobe and they're saying, listen, listen, listen. I'm hearing, what, what do they need to listen to? Hmm, let's see. So your ears might be heightened as well, like you're listening, like your, your ears, something around your ears might be really heightened. Okay, so what I'm seeing is you're going to get a lot of messages through music. So I know this isn't anything to do with your relationships, but just take it as it resonates. Whatever messages I get, okay, you take them. You know, I do random messages, okay? So... There's definitely something around music and you're definitely getting a lot of like new inspiration through music, possibly through new artists, things like that. So that's really good. Let that come through. They're saying just literally just let that come through. Okay, so we're going to get some new messages around your relationship. So, okay, I'm getting some really strong messages. A lot of you guys have been messed around a lot in relationships, like a lot. Like you guys are kind of pinned against a wall and they're showing me like a lot of fear and intimacy. You may have attracted a lot of people who are kind of overly loving and you're not overly loving so actually i know you're probably not going to want to hear this but if this resonates for you then mm, um you may be somebody who's attracted a lot of overly loving people because you struggle to love you struggle to let yourself go in relationships let yourself be like vulnerable and things like that so i definitely feel like you are releasing that which is really good and it's going to start with possibly attracting an animal into your life that could help you to get more comfortable with commitment and i'm hearing how you how you act with your 
animal is how you act with your family <laughs> or your or your relationships it's like how much commitment do you want right now that's basically what they're saying and for this group i'm feeling um this group tends to be the longest to attract people i'm not sure why but i don't know but for this group i'm picking up like you've you've got enough going on right now relationship is kind of like the last thing to think about but i'm picking up you're either very young like you're really like in your teens or early 20s or you're in your like 40s and you've still got a bit of learning to do around your previous partners um if you are like young you're like you know early 20s or teens doesn't mean you're not going to get a relationship it just means like they're just saying you, you're too young right now you have got some stuff more stuff to learn and i don't mean you're too young as in like oh you're immature or anything because i always want to clarify that because a lot of people have done readings for me and when I was younger like 18 and I used to get readings you'd be like oh you're so young you've got your whole life ahead of you and I'm like okay well that's not helpful like give me something that's actually helpful okay so your um, relationship with your intuition is going to get so much better and that's that's the listen part you're definitely going to get so much better with your intuition your intuition is going to get so much higher and you're going to get a lot of communication coming through from family especially when you start to let them go they're going to start to cling on to you like no tomorrow so let them go okay especially if you are kind of releasing the relationship with them yeah just let, let them go so there's definitely yeah there's a fear around being your own person because you've got a lot of people around you who have very strong beliefs and they're just really intense and they're just people who just have ugh, like they really have like a very capricorn-esque energy about them and it's not good capricorn energy it's very manipulative it's very intense and i don't like it i'm not a fan so you're definitely releasing that um and then we have this sense of just clearing clearing the old um i'm picking up a lot of you guys have got a new job if you haven't got this new job it is coming towards you so get ready for that um re i'm really really looking forward to that for you it looks really good and i'm also picking up that your responsibility your like your relationship with, with responsibility has gotten a lot better like you're much more comfortable with taking the reins you're much more comfortable with speaking your truth which is really really good and I feel like a lot of you guys are very good at multitasking as well. Also, I'm picking up that you're not going to attract another child. So if you are not literally a child, sorry, I mean like a man child. So if you've ever had like a partner who acts like a child, like you're not going to attract that anymore. You're not going to have that in your life. Um, and you're just not going to have that. Like you are literally learning to recognize the signs. And a lot of people I'm hearing, I'm seeing red, you know, when people like are in danger, they see red, like that phrase, they see red. You may be really attracted to the color red at the moment. Like this sense of like learning how to get grounded, learning how to get rooted in yourself. And this sense of just kind of knowing what feels grounded to you, what feels feels like right for you and I feel like I'm hearing I'm, I keep seeing reds there's something about knowing where the red flags are and there might be something like intense coming out within your family like I'm picking up like a lawsuit or something like like there's news coming to light but it's good stuff like these people need to, this sounds so intense it's like my Scorpio side is coming out but I'm hearing these people need to be brought to justice <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with you guys but I hope you're okay it's <laughs> like literally like look after yourself okay so let's get another message about your partner. Yes, yeah, so there's definitely a new person coming in. This person took a while to come in, like they were they were hiding. But what I feel for this group is this is the sort of person you're going to attract, okay? You are definitely needing to learn though how to take responsibility for like mm, your past and like how you may have treated people, like why the patterns keep repeating with the people you're attracting. And if you're feeling really alone right now, I just want to say you're not going to be alone for much longer. Like I feel like you are learning to integrate yourself and your insecurities. So it's very normal if you feel really scared or really upset or lonely. And I don't mean that you're going to attract a man like straight away or a woman straight away. I just feel like at the moment your your journey is really about your lifestyle and how you live it and what you believe in and what rings true for you because you've always had to kind of be the mum for everybody or be like really overly responsible and they're saying mm, we don't we don't want you to be like that anymore. Like we're we're trying to get you to level up. So if things are feeling a bit uncomfortable, just know that you know it's going to get better. Um, and your person's coming in and it's looking really good. They are coming in. I'm picking up within about two years. They could come in earlier than that, but they want you to learn to soften around um, the harsh emotions that you're feeling. Because I'm picking up for this group. They always get a very strong masculine energy from this group. Like it's never very feminine. So I'm not sure what that is, but for a lot of you guys, especially if you are someone who has been brought up by like masculine women or you are a masculine woman or you're a very masculine male, 
I feel like there's a sense of needing to lean into that feminine energy a lot more. And I don't mean that you can't do it. I just mean like you don't have to do everything that's goal orientated. And I feel like there's a sense of looking after your controlling habits. I hate saying that because I don't want to sound like, you know, you guys are controlling, but all of us are controlling to a certain extent. And I feel like it is controlling your life when you are this controlling okay what the controlling is saying to me is it's like you're trying to control and contort your emotions it's like as they come up you shove them down but you don't really mean to do this is definitely something that you've you've done over time this is something that you have done to uh, stop yourself from you know get it being unsafe because maybe you're around people who didn't accept that part of you so you have to just shove it down so i'm picking up like you're picking at this box and this box has got your emotions in it you're slowly like peeling it away so whatever you're doing you're doing a really good job and i just want you to know like it is okay to feel it's okay to cry it's okay to be happy it's okay to express yourself it's okay to be loud to you know all those things it just takes a bit of practice especially if you haven't done it for a long time or you know anything like that Okie dokie, so let's get some more cards. Let's have a look at your love message for your person. We'll see what cards want to come out. And we'll see what, what wants to come out. I'm picking up on a cactus and I'm hearing you're a little prick. <laughs> you're a little prick. <laughs> love that. So you've probably got somebody in your life and I'm picking up on a man. Like you, a, you have a certain specific, specific relationship with a guy or a man and you're saying, oh, you're a little prick. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. Okay, I love it. I love it. You guys are spicy. You guys are really spicy. Okay, this is going to be such an interesting reading. Like, you guys have got some really, really interesting messages. You guys have definitely been, like, stopped. Like, you've been stopped. Like, you're been naturally like your progress has been stopped to I don't know it's almost like somebody stunted your growth some of you guys may have had a child very young so maybe you have, haven't really been able to be a young teenager or maybe especially if you had a teen pregnancy you may not have been allowed to really be a teenager so I feel like that's starting to come back around again and you're starting to become much more comfortable with just doing fun things for yourself and you're learning that which is really nice okay so your person is definitely um fun they're really 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 fun they are so happy as well and they do take life quite seriously but they're also really fun to be around like they have this capricorn gemini kind of energy to them which is really nice oh soulmate how cute is that oh my god okay so your reading is so lovely i'm picking up on this slow dripping of feminine energy coming in which is so nice, especially now we've introduced your person into it, which is really, really good. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we've got. Let's channel your person. They're saying, oh, hi. <laughs> They're saying, let's see, I love your smile. You're so funny. I'm hearing, do not darken your eyebrows. They're saying your eyebrows look a bit too dark they're saying light in your eyebrows i don't mean that they're not saying it in a way that's like oh you you look horrible but they're saying like your eye your natural eyebrows are beautiful they're saying your natural eyebrows are beautiful they're saying i love your face i love your eyes i love your skin you might have some tattoos and they're, they're pointing to me towards a tattoo on your right arm around your like forearm they're showing me maybe to do with like a, a family member or something they're saying oh i really like your tattoo and they're saying i like snakes they're very kind of like random like they have a lot of random things about them they have might have like a pet snake or something um and they're saying i love being your soulmate i love being um around you i love having fun with you i love going on holidays i like um going on vacation and i love going to different parts of the world with you they're saying you spend a lot of money on travel and they, they do as well and there's somebody who wants to pay to keep pack their bags and just go away with you and i'm hearing like a lot of um like really hot places like spain and Greece and places like that. So let's see what else they say. I'm hearing, I know you get overstimulated quite quickly, quite easily, me too. I'm very creative and sometimes it can be really hard for me to be in this world that's very, very abrasive and scary. And me and you can be there together. I know you've been for a lot of drama. I know you have never really felt like you can um, loosen your heart. You can, you feel like you have to protect your heart all the time and it's really caused a lot of grief. And I'm sorry, you've had to go through that. You may have lost a child. You may have lost um, yeah, a baby and I'm sorry. And, and I don't like and stuff like that up but I'm sorry if you have gone through that they're saying I'm sorry and I'm hearing I'm sorry if your inner child has never felt able to grieve or able to feel like they can be safe and it's okay I want you to know it's safe for you to be like that and I want you to start being closer to them I want you to start being closer to your inner child 
um, and get comfortable with having more fun because you're allowed to and it's okay and it's not wrong and I want you to start letting yourself be open and free. So I know you may have never had a home and you may have never felt like you have had a home. You can have a home with me and we can have a home together. And if you don't know how to ride a bike, I can teach you. If you don't know how to do things like uh, write in a certain way, if you want to learn a certain language, I can teach you that. I want to be what you haven't had in your life. And I know you probably haven't had a father figure or a mother figure around you in a way that you would like to. And I really feel like I can be that for you. And I also want you to know that if you ever have any troubles, don't feel like you can't express yourself to me you are so loved and you're able to be yourself around me and I want you to know that it's all going to be okay and I want you to know that your heart is very safe with me and I'm hearing the song heart heart on your sleeve I don't know who this is by um, I'm actually getting Ollie Murs which I never talk about I used to love Ollie Murs uh, there might be a song called heart on your sleeve by Ollie Murs I'm not sure but there's something there <sighs> And they're saying that they're really good at DIY, like they're really good at being like a plumber or something like that, or a builder. I'm not too sure, but they're really good at what they do. Um, and they're going to help you with the house, especially if you're somebody who's lived by yourself. And especially, especially if you are a single mother and you're having to do things by yourself. They're saying, I love chocolate. Both of you love chocolate. You might have like chocolate fondue <laughs> or like some sort of like intimate chocolate moment. I don't know. <laughs> you might like Easter because all the chocolate. <laughs> Um, yeah, you both are very, very cute. Your person might have a lot of tattoos. They kind of look really like scary, <laughs> like you know, men when they have like their head shaved and other tattoos, and people can kind of find them a bit like intimidating. This might be your person actually, and if they're a woman, they could very be very, very similar. So that is your reading. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, all that information is down below. Have a lovely day, and I'll speak to you very, very soon.